of live radar, your three-minute advantage, so you'll know first. This is WVTM 13 Live Doppler. It's our most powerful tool on a day like today, a summer like day where these thunderstorms blossom during the afternoon. The WVTM 13 live Doppler tracks them in real time every single step of the way. Right now, seeing heavy rain through portions of Coleman County, Walker County, into Fade and Tuscaloosa counties as well. These are the thunderstorms that about an hour or two ago were right smack dab on top of Birmingham, Homewood, Mountain Brook producing that flash flooding. Right now, very heavy rainfall, frequent lightning as well in southern Coleman County, stretching back into northeastern Walker County and then back down to the south. Oakman, Barry, you're seeing the rain right now. Very heavy rainfall in northern Tuscaloosa County just to the east of Samantha. A lot of lightning embedded in this activity as well. Perhaps some winds 30 to 40 miles an hour and then just some leftover light to moderate rain for much of the Birmingham Metro. The heavy stuff though done with for Birmingham. Now back off to the east. We're starting to see some new thunderstorms develop through portions of Cherokee County into Etowah and Calhoun counties near Jacksonville, north of Aniston and near Gadsden as well. Some of these thunderstorms will blossom and strengthen over the next hour or two. Now we continue with a flash flood warning for much of Jefferson County in the Birmingham Metro because of the flooding that we saw earlier on this afternoon that continues until 6 PM. So still another 40 minutes. Once again, the heavy rain done with just some leftover light to moderate rain for a time before things quiet down later on this evening. Now where it hasn't rained, it's hot temperatures in the upper 80s, low to middle 90s across our southwestern counties. For the rest of us, a lot of rain cooled air. It's down to 72 degrees in Birmingham. Here's the view in Tuscaloosa. No rain so far in Tuscaloosa, but still the chance for thunderstorms through the evening hours, then quieter weather coming in overnight tonight. Our forecast model is showing that most of the storms will come to an end after we get past sunset. So by 10 PM, most spots dry or dry overnight tonight, and then we do it all over again tomorrow. By lunchtime, we're starting to see those clouds build up in the sky, and then by the afternoon, here go more of those showers and thunderstorms developing and continuing to build with the heating of the day. Our seven day forecast showing a 30 to 40% chance for thunderstorms tomorrow. Slightly lower rain chances, I think, on Tuesday and Wednesday. Then back to that typical summer like pattern for the end of the week, heading toward next weekend. Daytime highs quite hot, climbing up into the low to middle 90s. Grace?